adventure, that burning desire to explore the unknown. Go where no human has gone before. Be the first to reach the peak or cross the continent. It's that desire that fueled the overland expeditions that made Land Rover famous around the world and produced the family of Land Rover vehicles we know today. The Land Rover has become a passport to adventure for millions of off-road enthusiasts. People looking for a 4x4 capable of taking them into unexplored territories. It's become popular with those who want a little luxury and the ability to go anywhere. Being able to venture off the posted highways and forge your own way through the world can be an exhilarating experience. Modern SUVs have reignited the explorer's spirit, but few have the history of Land Rover. In 1948, the Land Rover began life with a simple purpose, to give Britain a vehicle that could compete with Jeep. The Jeep had proven itself in World War II. A new model for the civilian market was about to be introduced. But across the Atlantic, in post-war Britain, plans were being made to unleash another consumer 4x4. The Wilkes brothers, who ran the Rover car company, were working on an idea prompted by Morris Wilkes' fascination with his surplus Jeep. Morris loved his Jeep, and the stout vehicle proved to be very handy around the farm. But he knew that it would eventually break down and parts would be impossible to find in England. The prospect of having to live without his Jeep gave Wilkes an idea. Why not build his own? The war had devastated the Rover car company. Raw materials were rationed. But if Wilkes could prove that he could export his new vehicle and bring hard currency into the country, he'd get what he needed. Tom Barton was one of the leaders responsible for the design and building of the original Land Rover. It was conceived, designed and built within a year. The Wilkes were still using their Jeep, but not for long. They had something new. They had to substitute aluminum for steel on the new vehicle because they weren't able to get enough steel. The Land Rover was a huge hit at the 1948 Amsterdam Motor Show. But the brothers still had to convince farmers that the Rover could replace the horse. What I want, says many a farmer, is something that can do everything the horse can do, plus a lot more, and at three times the speed. And here it is, the Land Rover. A tough, chunky, cheeky, versatile vehicle with an unlimited capacity for hard work. They were right. There was more demand for the little Land Rover than they could fill. The plucky vehicle sported an 80-inch wheelbase, topped off with a 52-horsepower, four-cylinder engine and four-wheel drive. It became the farmer's best friend and the vehicle of choice for military forces around the world. promotional film made by the company more than 50 years ago 
describes the Land Rover. There's something about the purposeful, functional Land Rover that makes an irresistible appeal to the young and the young in heart. How's she different from an ordinary car? Ah, jump in and I'll show you. As the Land Rover grew in popularity, another dimension broadened its demand, the off-road possibilities of four-wheel drive. The Land Rover's capabilities appealed to a new class of automotive enthusiasts. Veering away from its farmland and workhorse image, owners began using the vehicle for exploration and recreational pursuits all over the world. It's claimed that the first vehicle ever seen by one-third of the world's population was the Land Rover. One of the most famous of many